everyone welcome to the fun face cat channel i'm fun and i'm back so today ladies i'm back with a new makeup haul it's on some lipsticks called uh clean color and you can get them at your local beauty supply store or you can go buy them online i have all the information in my inbox but i'm gonna give you swatches and i'm gonna see how to show you how they look so stay tuned lipsticks at my um beauty supply store and Online, I think they're like a dollar ninety nine. But if you go see a beauty supply store, you can play pay a dollar. But I'm just gonna give you a few details, and then I'm gonna show you some swatches. So they are very smooth. They're um, pigmented. What else? Um, they have a really uh, strong fragrance. Some of them smell like. It depends on the color, because the red one smells like cherry, and the purple one, the light purple, smells like lavender. But um, different ones have different um, fragrances. But it's a it's a strong fragrance. It might be, um, you know, a little bit too strong for others. I don't have a problem with, with it, but it might be strong for others. But for a dollar, I think I don't think you can beat it. Um, there's so many companies out here that's selling these um, $18 lipsticks that's in all these vibrant colors. And if you, you know, you want to save some money and you want to um, still have the trendy lipsticks and everything, you can just purchase the color. Sorry, and there goes my lipstick. But anyway, if you... So when you first purchase the lipsticks, this is how they come. This is the packaging. The colors on the top of the jar and also at the base are the true colors. And I'll be showing you that comparison in this video as well. So the first one is called Purple Machine. And it's a really, really deep, dark purple. Um, it's very vibrant. With this, you only have to apply maybe two coats and you're good to go. Um, it's really smooth. It's uh, moist. Um, and it's great for spring. This is Flirty Tango, and it's a really, really bright neon pink. It reminds me of Mad Candy Yum Yum, and it's for those girls who are bold and bright. It's great for spring and great for summer. And with this one, it's also moist, very smoothing, and you only need a few coats to get the full impact of the lipstick. This is Jewelry Box. And it's a really pastel mint green. It's a really pretty color. Uh, but with this, it's a little chalky. I wasn't really feeling this one that much. But the color is really pretty. It might go great with some skin tones. Or more for theatrical or commercial. But for everyday use, I wasn't feeling this at all. The next one is called Happily After. And it's also a pretty Barbie pink like a baby pink great for the girly girls but with this one it's also a pastel and it left my lips a little chalky so this is another one that I wasn't really feeling on my skin tone and for this one I had to apply a few coats and it's very drying another one is happy after hours and it's a really dark blue it reminds me of a deep denim blue and this one is vibrant only a few coats I needed to get the full color. Uh, and that's it. It's great for summer or spring. You know, if you're daring or bold and you want that bold lip, maybe for a night out. The next one is called Georgia. And Georgia has sparkles all in it. And this one is more of a gloss. It's not really a lipstick. It's really, really smooth. The texture is really different. But it's like really a smooth, buttery feeling when it goes on your lips. And it's packed with sparkles and glitter. But, but if you're going for something that's not too bold and not too bright, you know, something simple for the summer, then this would be perfect. And again, it's only a dollar, so you really can't beat it. So my next one is called Garnet. And Garnet is a really deep, deep red. I like this one. I think it's really pretty. Um, it's very uh, vibrant. I only had to use two coats. And you can wear that all season. This is T Rose, and T Rose on camera is like a muted pink. It's like a nudie pink. Uh, with T Rose, it's very, very smooth. It smells really good. It smells like roses. And this is what it looks like on my lips. It's pretty amplified. The next one is Cast of Spell, which is another pastel. It's a lilac, it's a really pretty color. It's unlike the other two, it goes on smooth, but it can leave your lips a little splashy, so it's best to 
either scrub your lips or apply a base or maybe even foundation so it doesn't have that chalky pasty look but that's great for spring too and this one is called tingling mimosa it's a pretty orange and with this one with a few coats you're good to go I like this one it reminds me of Morage or Mirage by Mac but it's not as bright and vibrant it's just a pretty orange no red on this one it's just a plain orange and for this one it's called radiant red and this is to me a true red it reminds me a little bit of Ruby Woo. It's a really deep, bright. Skin. So that's it, ladies. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs me up if you like. Follow me on Instagram at fawn underscore fancy cat. And also follow me on Facebook and my fan page. I'll see you next time. Bye.